Innovations Fair 2023, Saturday, Saturday, NMSBVI ECC Skill Booster Saturdays with Mary Vaughn, Instructional Resource Center Supervisor and Julie Johnson, Outreach Coordinator. Hi, I'm Julie. Uh, these ECC Skill Booster Saturdays were created as a way to provide extra opportunities um, for ECC experiences for students who are blind or visually impaired, but enrolled in their local school districts, charter schools, or even home schools. Um, you know, it um, a side benefit that came out like right away was just the ability or the opportunity to meet other kids with visual impairments um, that some of these students didn't previously know. Um, we've had parents participate, which has been a great learning experience for some of the family members, siblings, and parents, actually. And just the collaboration that we've done with local school districts for the site, um, the locations, and those TVIs getting to come and be a part with their students and do some types of activities that they normally just don't have enough time to do during a regular school week. Hi, I'm Mary, and it was definitely a fun way to kick off our Saturdays with Adapted Sports. We did it on the Alamogordo campus, and we coordinated with the um, athletic director and coach, and the focus areas were recreation and leisure, social skills, compensatory skills, and daily living skills. And so on the screen, you see some pictures. We have a first grade student taking a swing under the eye shades um, at, with taking a swing with a bat at a ball. Um, and then we've got a fifth grader who's running towards the b baseball base. And we've got a, a senior in high school who's climbing the rock wall on one of the pictures. And then the fourth pictures show parents and students of various um, grades. They are practicing the their kicking skills for blind soccer. And so it was fun because we focused on those um, intro and foundational skills of beat baseball, goal ball, climbing wall, tandem running, introduction to blind soccer. And they, we also got to spend time in our rec center where they made their own snacks. So it was really fun. And one of those big aha moments for us during this weekend was when one of the dads asked if he could go under the eye shades and asked his son if he could help him learn how um, he uses his cane to travel. So uh, that was a great weekend. So in Las Cruces, this one was around December. So we had a little more of a holiday focus and um, our focuses were daily living skills, rec and leisure and social skills. And we had students, um, you can see the pictures. Uh, we have two young ladies, one's a senior, one's a sixth grader. And they are just exploring the shapes of cookie cutters because we did make some sugar cookies and decorated those. So they're um, trying to figure out which, what, what object each, each cookie cutter was representing there. Then in the middle, we have a young man, he's in fourth grade and he is, um, taste testing one of his creations. And then you will see a sixth grade young lady holding up a package that she wrapped um, herself. So the things that we, uh, activities that we did, like I said, were the holiday baking and cookie decorating. We made two different holiday crafts that they got to take home and either keep or give as gifts. Most of the kids uh, put one of the crafts in their box that they wrapped. So they went home with a with a gift ready to give somebody. Um, the gift wrapping, which many of our kiddos just don't have that experience with, and that was fun. And then we're there for quite a while, so we've got to eat. So we don't just put food in front of them. We use that as an opportunity for kids to make their own meals. So that day we just, it was simple. We made sandwiches, but each student made their own sandwich. And um, it was just a, a great fun day. We had several um, local school district TVIs that got to participate with their students and they, they had as much fun as their students did doing these activities. By this one in Farmington, um, I think we really kind of 
got the true spirit of collaboration in this one. Um, we had, we collaborated with various departments at NMS BBI, but also with um, multiple districts and staff. And so we were able to really plan and, and put something together um, for the needs of the students and the districts. And so here we focused on orientation and mobility, self-determination, daily living skills, and social skills. And so there is a picture of an elementary student and she is using the ninja to, to make a smoothie. And the second picture, we've got a preschooler who is um, following her tactile map that was created and using her cane. And on uh, the third picture, you have a fam uh, the parents and the students, they are making tactile maps. And on the, sec the last picture, you've got two students, one in middle school. No, actually, these are both elementary students, and they are also working on their tactile maps. Um, so some of the activities we did was indoor-outdoor walks to practice cane techniques, routes, and mapping, tap tactile map making and picture creating, active learning and sensory play. That was also one of the, the highlights is that we were able to really cater to the individual need of the student and where they were and, and tailor the activity to their needs. Um, we made smoothies and tried different microwavable foods to learn likes, dislikes, and cooking with small appliances. And then there was a parent O&M training led by the O&M interns. And so for this one, um, the, again, that aha was just really that true collaboration between everybody. And we definitely um, want to continue that. So we have one more coming up for this school year, which is going to be held at the NMS BVI Early Childhood Program site on May 13th from 12 to 4. And uh, the slate of activities for this one will be similar to the one that Mary just referred to in Farmington and um, just in a, at a different site. And then we hope to have many more next year. So if you're in a local district and you think you would be interested in us hosting one in your area, please feel free to contact any myself, Mary Vaughn or Kitty Edstrand, and we'd be happy to talk to you about that. Um, and we look forward to just more fun, fun days and fun experiences for our kiddos and um, focus on fun, but they're really learning um, while they're doing these things. NMS BVI Innovations Department, New Mexico School for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Alamogordo, Albuquerque, Statewide Outreach, 1-800-437-3505, www.nmsbvi.k12.nm.us, Spring 2023.